everybody. Welcome to the story behind the music. My name is John Banther, and I'm here today with Mr. Pierre Volders. Pierre is a principal trombone player in the Rotterdam Philharmonic Orchestra. He teaches at the Rotterdam Conservatory. Uh, he's a conductor of many ensembles, including the Amsterdam Brass. He's also a member of the New Trombone Collective. Am I leaving anything out? That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> that's a lot, that's enough. You also just became a father, right? Yeah. That's, uh, that's in, nice. In November, I had a, I had a small daughter. So. Nice. Yeah. Small daughter. Yeah. 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 So you're teaching at the conservatory now, yeah. but um, before that you were actually a student at the same conservatory. Yeah, at the same conservatory. I started in uh, 1919 in the uh, Rotterdam Conservatory mm -hmm. with my teacher, George Wiegel. And I studied there for about eight years, I think, totally. I did the uh, trombone, uh, uh, I started on trombone, did my master's and also conducting. I started mm -hmm. in a normal thing and did also the master of uh, the conducting, the wind band conducting in this uh, thing. And during my study, I. Uh, I got a job as a principal to one of the Dutch Ballet Orchestra. Mm -hmm. That just was just before I started to do my master de degree. So I had a kind of busy schedule. Yeah. That's why it also took for me eight years because I had to, yeah, to, to mm -hmm. realize how, what, <laughs> what I have to do to yeah. play in the orchestra, to study, and to conduct, and mm -hmm. to do everything. So it cost me one more year. And then I became at the end of that thing, I graduated the masters, and then I, I became an assistant of my uh, my teacher mm -hmm. because he was moving up to kind of director of the school. Oh yeah? Yeah. So, and that time I started as an assistant uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. And then later on came Jürgen van Rijen came with it and then we became uh, yeah, finally the main teachers of the mm -hmm. school. Yeah. So that's it. yeah. And uh, as a student, were there any big obstacles you had to overcome, you know, on your instrument or maybe mentally? Uh, mentally not so much because I think our teacher, he was really doing a great job. We had at that time also, um, we had quite a big class, for, uh, at least for, for European uh, sizes. We had mm -hmm. about uh, between 12 and 15 trombone players. And my teacher was really making it kind of, of friend action and that you really had to, to, to work together with each other and to study together. And, and mm -hmm. he had also, as I think, one of the only teachers in Holland at that time. He was doing really trombone class things, so the, the classical things and, mm -hmm. and, and to work with, uh, with the piano where have to be, everyone has to be, had to be there complete day or complete afternoon so to listen to each other to teach each other so you were really trained to to play for other people and to, to talk about music and to, to talk about serious things problems mm -hmm. with each other and also to discuss it with each other mm -hmm. so i think mentally that was really a good thing to uh, to win, to join that yeah um, technically spoken i had uh, in the beginning i was really playing out of tune <laughs> i don't know why but the, the, my, my, my former teacher i think he learned me some things which I had really wrong in my ear, so there was mm -hmm. really a struggle to get that really right done. Mm -hmm. um, well, what, did, what did you do to uh, fix that, this intonation problem? I was just starting to work with, with the piano and, and mm -hmm. to, to check, to sing also, the do solfege, I think, really a lot of singing things yeah. and, uh, and working sometimes also with the tuning machine, not too much, but sometimes yeah, you have to find out, okay, which, mm -hmm. which strange thing do I have in my ear to, <laughs> to find mm -hmm. out where it's much too high, much too low, or what, what's happening. To, solve that thing, but really did a lot of singing things and solfege uh, exercises mm -hmm. with the uh, teachers, mm -hmm. school the theory teachers. That worked finally, it worked uh, better. <laughs> but still, you, you, when you have that, you, you still, uh, it's, it's a thing for me I have to, to watch always. Mm -hmm. to even when I play new new pieces, uh, you have to be always careful, okay, at first. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's much, much less than, than in that time. Yes. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, there's, there's always points you have to, to, uh, to check out. And the other technical <coughs> thing I had uh, to, to struggle with was, I don't know how, how you call it in English, is the kind of uh, thing that you have, uh, uh, the attack problem, by, uh, that you're not, that not throwing me, but the, oh, those right. stutter, stutter, yeah, attack. stutter yes, attack. Yeah, stutter attack, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. The, same, uh, the same word. That was for me, uh, for me a, a big thing in the beginning of my study. Mm -hmm. was, I just couldn't start. I don't know why, but uh, finally also that with the exercises, of breathing exercises, uh, and, and also mentally thing to just relax, just play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, finally it went away. That were things that I have really have to do um, to solve those things. Mm -hmm. And another thing, which I think is a really comparing thing in the beginning with those uh, stutter uh, attack, is that my throat was quite closed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I play in the high register, it was really thick. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of much, tension. Yeah, too much tension mm -hmm. in the throat things. And uh, yeah, that one, I think my mainly technical things to, uh, to really solve, like that's, I, mm -hmm. I, I feel it like it was a problem. 
Nee, maar dat heeft goed zo opzetten. Dat was really a big thing to, uh, 